Oh boy, we're we're back and we're we're actually we're LARPing in the the, the A10, the A10 late, the, the one with all the uh, the nine L's and uh, this plane is fun. I I like it in sim. It's it's fun to play because I like taking things that are dumb and then doing dumb things with them. And the A10 is a superbly stupid plane. I mean, it's 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 a it's a flying gun, uh, gun go Bert, uh, all the memes, uh, really good and. Uh, uh, on the plus side, uh, playing this plane as a fighter will get people to uh, call you slurs, which is, which is a lot of fun. This is like, it's like one of the main reasons to even play War Thunder is to just have random people from Europe uh, call you the N word because they uh, they died. But um, this plane's uh, this this plane I think is one of the one of the, the highlights of Sim. There's there's enough going on here that you can do stuff and things with it. You can bomb. You can shoot rockets. You can. Straight ground targets. You, you got the Burt. Um, all in all, like it's this is like this is like the peak sim experience. With uh, there, there's a few caveats to that because uh, sim's not not completely perfect as much as people want to uh, assume that it is. Uh, we get this bozo here. He just flies in front of the guns. Uh, that's a clip. He he just dies right away. Like uh, I'm just here doing a ten things. But here's what I mean when I say like things aren't like completely perfect in sim. We're we're doing some LARPing. We're we're looking for a convoy. Uh, we can't find it on the road. We're gonna look at the map. We're gonna look at the road. We're gonna look at the convoy. We're gonna look at the canyon, and we're not gonna find it right away. And we're using the AGM-65. And oh look, there's some AA right there. Oh, and we're dead. Uh, Saddam-25 kills us right away. This is. Uh, Probably like a realistic, real-to-life experience for like what the A-10 would have been like. Because my understanding is uh, A-10s just get clapped at like in any kind of like air-to-air -air exercise or air-to-ground exercise. Like things kind of a, uh, in real life, at, at this point, kind of an obsolete piece of shit. But I mean, for gameplay, just having fucking random ass like AA that just yeets you out of the sky. Um, Maybe not the best for gameplay. The fact that like it just doesn't give you any warning either. Even though I would think that you would have like a, a radar indicator, like oh hey, I'm getting locked by this. Like I don't know, could be modeled better maybe. Uh, but uh, maybe that's realistic. Maybe uh, uh, just fly supersonic and uh, don't be a piece of shit. But uh, it also means that this plane's kind of like limited in kind of like actual utility within sim. We're gonna do some. Uh, we're gonna do a, do some more LARPing. We're bombing an aircraft carrier. This is something this plane would never actually fucking do, but, uh, you know, uh, for whatever reason, aircraft carrier defenses are way better to deal with than, uh, just some random fucking M113 with, a a, a bunch of guns fucking grafted to the top. Does it make sense? I don't know. Anyways, we're, we're coming back. We're LARPing again. We're gonna do a carrier landing. It's gonna be smooth. It's gonna be great. The A-10 is not a carrier-capable plane, by the way. Um, but they should have made it one. It, 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 the the navalized A-10 would have been the GOAT. Like, imagine just the A-10 with uh, 64 ASRAMs, uh, anti-ship missiles just fucking glued to it, uh, launching them in a China's future carrier attack force. I, I don't know. It'd be a great plane. It's a great idea. DOD, please consult me. Just put a tail hook on the thing. It's good enough. Uh, plane has straight wings, good for short takeoffs. I don't know, you could probably put on like the little tiny aircraft carriers too, it'd be fine. We have a perfect approach, we're coming in, and right here we catch the hook, and up, oh, yeah, perfect landing right there. That's, that's, that is what you like to see. Just a flaming, flaming fucking wreck. Uh, anyways, we're back. This, this, this is the same game. We got a bunch of 2,000 pound bombs, and, uh, we're, we're gonna go use a CCRP to drop bombs on the carrier. Now you want to kind of like my best my best guess is you look at the direction the carrier is traveling. You put the you put the bomb site your target point in front of the thing, and you assume that the ship's gonna drive into it. I think that's a pretty uh, that's a pretty good assumption because uh, uh, ships don't turn very fast. And there we go, two bomb runs. We we just. We just blew up the USS Forrestal, thing gets fucking wrecked, all those guys are dead, and we move on to what we actually really want to do, which is use this thing as a kind of like a piece of shit bootleg fighter. And the, the way to do that, at least for me, because of the way the game currently is, um, 
This thing doesn't really have IFF because it doesn't have a radar, so you can't really tell what you're shooting at. Um, so you can you can you can just go in, and just shoot nine L's, and just hope to get lucky. Um, there's also kind of like currently a glitch where if you look at a plane through your HUD, a lot of the times it'll just like fucking randomly disappear. So what I do to kind of sort of circumvent that is I take me. AGM 65s, uh, the, the anti-tank missiles, but I'll shoot all four of them off, um, just to keep two of them. If you keep one is probably better, but it does weight the plane down. So it wants to roll to the right. Yeah. You can trim it out, but also I like to keep two because sometimes I want to just shoot one in the tank just to like, you know, get back into the LARPing experience. And it, like, in all honesty, like this plane's not fast. Like, you're, you're not giving up a lot by carrying a bunch of bullshit. Sim players also are not good enough for, like, oh, yes, my one, my plus one AGM-65 is going to determine whether or not I want to turn fight in an A-10. It's like, you either win or you don't. And uh, this plane does a lot of winning, but it does a lot of winning just because uh, the, the player base is just as bad as it's always been. This play, this, like... This, like, BR range is usually full of, like, MiG-23 ML, all of your rank 6, rank 7 premiums. Dudes are just clueless. This dude's just clueless. He's, like, literally just going towards the base. Literally just sprayed at him. Shoot a missile at him. Maybe it hits. Maybe it doesn't. He, he puts some flares out. And there we go. We got the disappearing fucking bullshit here. So we're going to use the uh, AGM to IFF this dude and actually keep track of him because he, he's disappeared from the screen. So we're just switching back and forth. This is how well developed um, the, I mean, the entire game is, but as, as a game mode, Sim is also very well developed, as you can see right here. And this dude, like, we're not going to catch him, but at some point he's going to make a turn. And if he makes a turn in the wrong direction or comes back towards us, we can shoot a missile at him. Or at, at worst, he's dragging us to the center of the map, which is where we would go anyways to go find other players to shoot at. So, um... Not, not really a losing strategy here. But, I mean, with the A-10, you kind of want to stick to your side of the map in some cases, not always. I like playing Tunisia, though. It's a smaller map. It makes the whole, like, flying to find someone process a lot less tedious. Uh, Tunisia does get really, really small, though, if you're in a supersonic jet. Like, it feels uh, really, really crowded. But in an A-10... It's not bad, but usually we just kind of stick to the ground, We're trying to avoid radar missiles if they have any. We launch another missile, cool, we just blew up a tornado, wow, look how great we are. Um, kind of got lucky there, we Just I just kind of assume that people coming in from the enemy side of the map are enemies half the time if they kind of match the shape of what I think an enemy plane should be. Uh, I'll take the risk. Like, you can get up to two team kills per game before you get kicked out. And, I mean, if you get kicked out, cool, you lose SL. But I'm, like, I'm sitting, like, 10 million of it. It doesn't matter to me. Um, I mean, if you don't want to get hit by a 9L and you're on my team, uh, I don't know, just learn how to fly better. That's actually a really shitty, that's a really shitty way of looking at things. We use the uh, AGMs to IFF here. We go, like, oh, yeah, this is an SU-25. He matches that silhouette. We're just going to slot in behind him. And we're going to shoot... Uh, one of our missiles. And hopefully he doesn't see it. We've got a missile away, and we're just gonna dive down and he sees it right away. And it doesn't do shit. So we just lost that. We got a guy behind us. Got some wingtip damage, but we don't care. We're an A-10. We don't give a shit. We just pull the nose up. Kinda just pull the trigger down and the guy explodes. It actually, that's actually like a really good shot. Like that's not like actually easy to do. It's not something people like. Oh yeah, I just uh, download the game. I'm gonna do this in two days. But I don't know. I thought that was really funny. And the other thing is about the A10, we have a shit ton of countermeasures. We're not fast. We're not stealthy. We're a pretty big obvious target. So like it's just you're almost better off to just run the countermeasures as soon as you get towards the middle. because. Worst comes to worst, you get shot down by a guy that knows how to aim guns. Um, you don't have enough rearward visibility to really, like, be super stealthy on fucking Tunisia, because, I mean, it's a postage map, a postage stamp-sized map, so 
Why you just run the player? Is that it, it, it brings people to you, and you can always just uh, just counterattack them. You just kind of sit inside their turn circle, and as they fly away, you either shoot them with a missile, or if they turn into you and get slow, you just kind of close them down with the gun. But the gun kills are so fun. I love the gun kills. Like, look at this guy. Look at this guy. He's gonna bird, 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 not fucking a shit. Bird, bird, miss every single fucking shot. Doesn't matter, guy's scared, we scared the shit out of him. Bird again, and then and now he's dead. He has died. He has chosen violence, and then uh, the enemy played and shot us down and then crashed into us at the same time. So we, we got a total of like four kills on a, on a single fly out of the A-10. It's a, not like a, not, I'm not gonna say like, yeah, this is a good, a, a really good PvP plane. Like, there there are limits to what you can do in this because you are as fast as a prop and people can play around like that. But also the chances of finding someone that is able to consistently play around that fact is uh, slim to uh, none. We launch a missile, this dude's flying away. I don't even think this is gonna hit. Maybe it does. We're, we're back in AGM-65 mode. Like, okay, is this guy a Phantom? Is this guy a MiG? We think he's a MiG. He's disappeared on the thing. We just shoot him on the missile, because fuck it, we got four of them. And uh, we get the Dink. The Dink says uh, he's an enemy. And a lot of a lot of this with, with this plane is just kind of like being very obvious. You just kind of bait people into fights. And then they just fly in front of you because you're going so slow, they can't keep up with it. We got a guy below us, he just shot a missile too. But we got the periodics on, we're chilling. At least we think we're chilling. And we're slotting in behind an F4. We just hold down the trigger, he explodes, double strike. We are doing pretty great. 23ML comes in, immediately overshoots, and we're gonna just Fighting. And this is and this is what I mean, like why this plane takes so uh, so kind of goofy. Attention, is you have a competitive like a, a fairly competitive turn rate, but you're also like Attention so much slower. Map. So you just kind of sit inside of everyone else's turn circle. So like I'm pretty sure this is Stars, who me. is the top ranked like duelist in TSS. And he's overshot, and uh, we're gonna kind of piss him off here because this is like kind of insulting. Is just kind of just riding his ass with an A10, but this is like probably one of the better games I had. Like, there's a lot of games I had where it's like, but most people are just completely clueless at this VR. Like you could just kind of like, if you have any kind of awareness, you're just kind of chilling. But. Now that we've shown how great the plane is, we spent 13 minutes saying, wow, it's so great. We're gonna show that the plane is also, uh, it's limited. It's, it's, it's also kinda ass. Because you run into a guy that can actually aim and deflection shoot and use, use speed against you and just kind of like, it, it's the same as RB. It's like, oh, you get skill checked by the A-10 as soon as you get good enough and realize you shouldn't like, sit in front of its guns and you can go up and it can't go up and realize your speeds and all that, all that kind of crazy bullshit um it's kind of should be an easy plane to deal with but at the same time the 9Ls having four of them means that you have more or less four kilometers of reach where the other guy fucks up he doesn't see your missile he doesn't flare it correctly you get rear aspect and he just gets fucking domed so it's kind of like, it's it's not OP because the airframe is ass, but the missiles are really good, the gun is good, it's easy to fly. It's just, it's just fucking goofy is what I'm saying. But I think we're gonna, I think we're finally getting to the point where I'm eventually just gonna die. But we got this, you see the fucking fade in, fade out bullshit of like, oh yeah, the guy's there, he's not there. This guy's gonna fly away, but the 9L has the reach. I think this connects. Turn to the right here. We see an F4 EJ just kind of slow. We're gonna spray him down again. Gonna be a good old time. This is the other thing about Sim that kind of sucks too, is like you fight things that would be on your side technically so you have like f i have f4s on my team at the same time as i don't 
And in order to figure that out, you have to like you have to use like fucking context clues to figure out like which guy's the good guy, which guy's the bad guy. Like, if you see an F4 shooting at another F4, you're like, huh. I'm gonna wait for the kill feed to show up and tell me whether or not the guy trailing was the good guy or the bad guy. Or you just kind of do what I do and you just fucking guess with 9Ls and go, good luck everybody, <laughs> hope you don't die. But there we go, stars comes in from out of nowhere, he fucking slams you one, one, one pass, he's got the open cockpit. Now the open cockpit thing, I have opinions about that. Um, with something like the 23 in Jets, I, I am I have the, the wrong opinion that it's not as big of a deal as it is in props. Because in Jets, yeah, you can hear the missile. You hear the missile like 0.2 seconds before it slams into your plane. It is not as big of a deal as everyone made it out to be. Uh, something like the 23, the ML, the MLD, they all have this like really kind of shitty vertical bar that like sits directly above your pilot. Where... You can't see through the thing. You can't really, like, you can lean your head around it, but if you don't have a track IR, it kind of sucks. We get killed by stars again, by the way. Yeah, the deflection shot sucks ass. But, like, you, you can't really see out of the 23 ML and the MLDs and all that stuff, like, when you're looking straight up, which is a lot of what you're doing when you're turning. You're like, oh, this guy's, like, gone. I can't really anticipate it. So you see a lot of people running open canopy on that shit. In reality, like, the, the easiest fix for that fucking issue, though, is, uh, just don't let people open their canopy. Like, it, it, I don't know, like, fucking half the things in the game, like, the cops aren't even allowed to open the canopy. You can just make it that way. That would be very super simple. Anyways, I digress. We're spraying in a MiG-21. Uh, we're being goaded. But 21s in this plane are this is a lot of fun to fight because... They have the ability, I think, to win the dogfight, especially like vertically, especially if they know how to use the power to weight ratio. But if they overgas their turn, if they pull too hard at the wrong time, they just end up slow, they end up in front of you, they end up being easy targets. So it's a lot of fun. I see a guy explode here. We got a missile coming in. This is stars. We're gonna try to dodge underneath the one and we get clapped. And that's that is one of the issues with the A10. It's kind of a target kind of like a big obvious target especially for like me just flying around flaring like a fucking dumbass um because I, I don't like looking around in all honesty um you can get clapped that is that is the reality now at the same time even if another player is good if you merge with them on kind of like okay terms you can you can work with it it's it's plenty of, there there is a lot to work with getting J8 trying to chase us he gets exploded we merge with 23 this might be stars again I can't remember how I actually cut this video I, I didn't include the whole entire game because I mean that's like an hour and a half nobody wants to watch an hour and a half of like fucking flying around in A10 man it's just Jover we spray at this guy he gets blown up now we get hit we have minor damage. We we hit the J out because I hit the J out just to see like who hit me because then I can like oh like oh this guy's dog shit and I was like oh it's stars yeah I need to fucking kill this guy because if I don't uh, I go and we we get the lucky we get the desync shot we get the, the the fucking the barely there shot and he's gone he's dead um, I think overall in this game like between me and stars. I think he killed me three times. I think I killed him three times. It's pretty fair. The game after this pretty much ends, though. Um, there's like one kill that I'm cutting out because it's like an SU-22. Anyways, that's the A-10. Play it. Get called racial slurs. It's fun.